What's up you guys? You know, in the pandemic, one thing that was a problem was that you couldn't play squash in many cases. You couldn't be indoors. So you know what I did? I played outdoor sports like pickleball, padel, even some tennis. And I needed a pair of sunglasses. I've been using some other ones that I have, but I wanted some sports sunglasses and I got myself a pair of sport, sporty sunglasses. We're gonna test them out today. I'm just gonna do a very brief unboxing of the Nike Trainer. Nike Trainer, black, gray, and silver mirror. Okay. Let's go. We got a little glasses. We got a little glasses case here. Here they are. Got a little swoosh on the side that looks kind of greenish. We're gonna take the tag off. Here we go, looks pretty good. We're gonna test them out outside and I'm gonna give you some feedback on these. They're very, very light. I'm gonna weigh them right now. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. 21 grams, very light. And once I remove this little sticker, it's gonna be even lighter. I'll be back to let you know how they played outside in some actual sun, if there is any left at 4.30 on a Friday. I'm back. You know what? There was not enough sunlight when I got out to the pedal courts. I bought these sunglasses right before the time changed, like when, when we came out of daylight savings time to whatever the standard time is. And now it gets dark at 4.30, so I haven't needed these. But I did take these out and test them around when it's when it was sunnier out. And they make a nice, normal, clean, sunglasses type look. I used a golf ball as kind of uh, my test to see how well I could see that, you know, lying in some, uh, a pile of leaves practically, how crisp that was. The, the sunglasses I was coming to before, these Ray-Bans, which are my favorite kind of uh, casual sunglasses, I was using these outside for pickleball and padel, and they're actually great. They do not come off my face. Um, they're kind of tight. The only thing is that they're quite, um, they're, they're pretty bulky. They're pretty, um, they're pretty heavy. It's not like it's slowing me down or anything, but they're just a little, they're just a little big. And, oh, let me go grab a hat. This is something I want to show you. Here we are with the hat. Now, the question is, now sometimes it's nice to have a hat and sunglasses because, you know, this will, block a lot of the sun and the sunglasses just kind of do the rest of the trick. Now with these Ray-Bans, they're pretty big at the temples and so the hat, you know, had to sort of be a bit higher up. Whoops, I meant to take the sunglasses off, not the hat. Now with these, they can, the hat can get a little lower because the temples, it's still touching but the hat is kind of gone around the outside, the temples don't stick out as much. So this is actually a nice combo because in addition to getting, having the sort of lightness of these glasses, I can actually use a hat as well and kind of do double duty in terms of, um, in terms of my sun protection. What else can I tell you? There's a very satisfying in the temples. These lenses are I believe they're not polarized. I've never really tested polarized lenses. That's something for a future, a future review to test some glasses like that. These are, these do have removable um, lenses and I am not sure under what circumstance I will remove <laughs> these lenses. Maybe if one of them, you know, breaks or gets scratched and you want to replace it, you can do that or you can try different levels of uh, sun blockage. I'm not totally sure. Um, these lenses are not polycarbonate, meaning if you get hit in the face with a pickleball that someone smashes at, you know, smashes at you, these are, these are not up to ASTM standard, I can't remember what it's called, but um, they are not, they're not designed to be shatterproof, so that's something you should be aware of. As some future reviews, I'm going to look at some polycarbonate sunglasses, which will probably be a bit more expensive. I mean, I've never been hit in the face yet. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, but just so you're aware, these are not for safety. These are for 
sun. The nose piece on this is very lightweight, as are all the parts of this, and it's got this sort of plastic um, or rubberized uh, thing here, and it feels quite comfortable on my face. It sits very cleanly. The vision is very good around the sides. There's these are. Um, I guess rimless from here to here so if I look out the left or right it's very good peripheral vision unlike these where the frame is visible in my um, as I look to the sides I paid $64 for these on Amazon in the US there are cheaper um, models out there and more expensive ones like I said we might do some tests in the future and do some comparisons but for now Go outside, get some exercise, play some racket sports out there, play some golf, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you in the next video.